And so, if you read the chapters assigned for homework, you would see how these places where muscle and bone are united allow for articulation of the joints. Ms. Mason, what in the name of Cleopatra's cunt are you doing on your bullshit cell phone in my fucking class? I'm sorry, sir, it won't happen again. If you'd stop sitting around playing with your asshole, you might be a good surgeon one day. Yeah, school's going all right, Nana. It's a lot of work, but I'm doing well. Yes, I'm paying my bills. I should get going. Kitos, Nana. Khivasti. Mr. Barker? Yeah. I'm Mary Mason. I'm here about the waitressing job. My resume. You don't need a resume to work here, Mary. <laughs> so you want to be a doctor, huh? A surgeon. Cool. Just is the unpleasant part of the interview. I don't know you're not fat under there. Hey Mary, you're a surgeon, right? How would you like to make $5,000? No questions asked. You don't even have to show me your tits. Look, so we prefer if our boy Rat here were to die tonight. You think you can patch him up? Yeah, I can handle it. How did you find me? From your resume. So, I looked through Billy's trash, and laundry hamper, and bank account. That's not a crime though, is it? You wanna make fat stacks or what? I need a favor, Mary. Surgery. And you come highly recommended. You even managed to make a rat look pretty. Oh, not for me, silly. What would you even do with this? You can't fix perfection. I was gonna say. So what I want is to be completely desexualized. I am so tired of guys staring at my body. I want to be as pure and innocent as a doll. B, I thought when you said you were bringing your friend Mary, we were gonna party. Can we at least do some blow or something? Finish your homework first and then we'll talk, you disappointing skank. Don't mind my niece Tessa. She's got no manners and probably should have been aborted. So, what do you think?
Well, I think she's a little old, but I could give it a try. About Ruby! Oh. Uh, well, what do you want me to do? Oh, you know, just remove some excess skin in a few places. Uh, I don't know, don't you think that's a bit extreme? I'll pay you $10,000, cash. Get the fuck out of my way, I need to work! I want you to go in there and tell the family that the patient suffered a heart attack. Observe, boss, it's important to have good bedside manner when you're delivering bad news. Now I want you to go back in there and tell the family that the patient died. Oh, also. While I was on lunch, organ thieves harvested his innards to sell on the black market and made quite the mess, so there won't be an open casket funeral. But mainly because they also stole his face while they were at it. I'm not sure they're going to make much money, but what do I know? I'm not a black market organ thief. I'm just an amazing doctor and occasional sugar daddy. Oh, and make sure you give them this bill. It's due immediately and their bank account is already overdrawn, so we will be foreclosing on their house. Also, Mary, I'm having a party this weekend. It's a surgeon party. Real classy. You should come. I'll think about it. You must be Mary. Why don't you come inside? <laughs> Oh, hello, Mary. Hello, Dr. Grant. Some place you got here. Uh, what an amazing view. Someday all of this could be yours. Well, actually, only about 70% of it, Ms. Dr. Mason. Did you get a drink by any chance? No, I'm not. Here's your drink, Mary. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna go mingle. I'll see you around, Mary. Motherfucker! <laughs> what do you think about this? You like that? Oh, that's fucking good. I'm a fucking surgeon! Fuck mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like you pissed yourself. Yeah. Daddy, yeah, see that? You see that bitch? Oh, this fucking ass. How would you like to make $5,000? No questions asked. You don't even need to show me your tits. Hello, Dr. Grant. I dropped out of med school today, but that shouldn't come as a surprise to you. <laughs> I'm changing specialties, Dr. Grant. Fuck you, bitch! You stupid fucking Shut cat! Shut the fuck Shut up! up. <laughs> Have you ever heard of body modification? <laughs> if I'm going to offer my services to paying customers, I'm gonna need lots of practice. 
subdermal implants, scarification, amputation, tongue splitting, branding, genital bisection, fart solidification, cauterized manscaping, plasmic babyfication, queef injections. I'm going to attach chains from nipple rings to a Prince Albert. It's called chain gang suspenders and it's very in right now. And to top it all off, I'm going to take your dick hole and your butthole and swap them around. Your nightmare begins now. Oh my god, Mary, you are getting so popular. You're positively blowing up online. What are you talking about? The body mind community can't wait to meet Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary? Come see for yourself! I don't know, B. It seems a little too hardcore for me. So, uh, what do you want me to do? Me and my sister do everything together. We are inseparable. Yeah, yeah. And we want to make sure that we will always be together. Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, meaning. We want you to cut off my left arm and swap it with hers. Hmm. I can do that. Are you sure about this? Yeah! yeah. I need to speak with you. Of course, officer. Come in, I'd love to speak to you. Right this way. What seems to be the problem? It appears that your teacher, Dr. Grant, has gone missing, and we suspect foul play. Oh. Why would you suspect me? Dr. Walsh is also missing. And though we have found Dr. Black, they could not locate his genitals at the time. Now the individual that links these three doctors You is... look thirsty! Let me get you a drink! Here you are, Detective. Drink up, it's thirsty weather out there. Right. Now the thing is, Mary, we've searched Dr. Grant's apartment, and we found the tapes. We know what he did to you, and you're not the only one. We really believe that you're a victim here, Mary, but the thing we want to make sure of is that... Hang on. All, all this talking is making me thirsty. Wait, um, goodness, there is a chip on that glass. I'll just get you a new one. Mary, do you have any idea where Dr. Grant Dr. Walsh, or Dr. Black's genitals, maybe. I'm sorry. You truly are a wonderful teacher, Dr. Grant. Through perfecting my craft on you, I've elevated you to a work of art. You are my penis to Milo, if you will. Now, what shall we practice today?
I'm worried I've gone too far. Listen, Mary. This one time, these thugs broke into my Nona's house, practically beat her to death for 33 fucking dollars. So I tracked them down myself. When I found them, broke in their house, left them a little surprise. An upper decker. And I left them a lower decker too, the principal. What's a lower decker? Trust me, you don't want to know. Point is, Mary, never undervalue what you do. You always make sure they deserve it. You're truly gifted. Thanks, man. Of course. Hey Mary, how's it going? What's up? Billy, did you do something to Dr. Walsh? Uh, 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 that, that depends. Did you want me to have done something to uh, Dr. Marsh? What's it? I don't, I don't even know that guy. It doesn't sound like a real name. Oh, uh, why? Why do you ask? Okay, Billy, we'll talk later. How's it going? How's your Monday? Not bad, Billy. Ow! Mary, what the fuck? Don't damage the merchandise. You stay away from Billy, you understand? Just get the fuck off him. Also, it's nothing personal. What? I didn't even think you liked Billy. Uh, this whole thing, your whole relationship, the entire time, has been completely business. I mean, okay, he has sex fantasies about you, and he has an anime body pillow that he named Mary that he cries into, but this whole thing is really out of the blue. I don't like Billy. Who says I like him? He's just my friend, okay? Shut up and leave me alone. It's none of your business anyway. You are practically blowing him. What? Ew. No way. Mama don't swing that way. What? Really? Oh. So, what are you doing later? Not you, psycho. Hello? Mary. <laughs> Mary. Beatrice? What's wrong? It was Ruby. Ruby's boyfriend. He was real mad, Mary. Oh my god, Beatrice, what did he do? He made me tell him. I'm so sorry. Calm down, B. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you home. <coughs> Mary, he knows. Knows what? Where you live, Mary. I gave him your address. Oh, can you just hold on a second? I've got another call. Thanks. <coughs> yeah, hello? Oh, hey, Lola. I knew you'd change your mind. So, how's it going?
not remember that from med school. Okay. I'll just get these out of the way. Camera's rolling, and action. <laughs>